How many times have you heard this? JavaScript's a toy language because it's single-threaded. Well, now you'll be able to use this patented eye lift maneuver when people say that. You'll be able to say, is it really? Do you know that for sure? Actually, I'd watch out for doing it twice. It's a powerful maneuver. You don't want to overuse it. So let me skill you up on how to turn your node scripts into multi-threaded machines back in the office. What we're going to use is worker threads. The documentation is pretty good, but outside of that, most articles just copy and paste this piece of code right here and then talk about it. But we are not going to do that. We are going to take a set of huge photos, each is about 6,000 by 4,000 pixels, and we're going to create scaled down copies of them. So here are some photos. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is check the node version. Worker threads are an experimental feature in 10, but they're a standard feature in 12, so I'm going to be on 12. Cool. Now, the photos are in an images folder. And I'll create the project and add glob so that we can find the images and then jimp to resize them. Also make an index and an image scalar single file. That file will hold the single threaded version of the image resizing code. Now first I'll get the list of files and then point them at our image scaler. Next I'll bring in the jimp and export a function that will return a promise. And at the moment just print out the name of the file. Since that's a promise, I need to go back to index and roll that into an async function and then wrap it in a promise all. Let's give it a go, and we have files, so sweet. Now it's time to resize them. This is pretty straightforward stuff. I'm just going to read the file using jimp. That gives me back an object that I can then resize and then save that to the new path that I've created. And I'll add a little logging so we can follow along. And whoops, I messed up. That needs to be an async function. Let's try it out. Hey, it looks like it's working. So there is a small file. Sweet. Next, I'll bring up the CPU monitors, and I'll run it. And it's eating it on the small file, so let's ignore those. No, I mean really ignore those. And it's looking good. Cool. As you can see, it's using just one core. I think the other cores are just the OS being smart about distributing the file reading and writing load. So that took 3 minutes and 49 seconds of wall clock time and utilized 122% of the CPU. Wah, wah, wah. Not great, so let's make it multi-threaded. So I'll copy that code into a new file and bring in the worker threads package. The first thing to do is separate out the code that runs in the main thread from the code that runs in the worker thread. To do that, we look at is main thread. The main thread will return a promise and start a worker, and the worker will just do the work. Now in the promise, we create a new worker and point it at the file and also send along the file name of the image using that worker data key. And then we look for three types of events. First, message, which in this case we're going to use for success. Then error and exit. Exit is for when the thread code throws, and exit we just check to see that it didn't exit with a bad error code. Now let's tweak our thread code. Now I'm going to add in thread ID so that we can see that. And I'm going to replace the img variable with worker data. And then finally, instead of resolving it, we just post back a message. Let's give that a try. And I messed up about the async thing again, so let's fix that. And away we go. Okay, now you can't hear this, and I sped this up, but my fan on my machine is cranking right now. And it's done in 2 minutes and 29 seconds, wall clock time, with an astounding 1,032% CPU usage. Oh my god. And that's pretty spectacular. And seriously, folks, was it hard to do? No. This is really cool stuff. Okay, so this is a game changer for me because I'm a kind of data visualization guy. I'm, that's not all that I do, but I do a lot of data visualizations. And data visualizations come in kind of two pieces. You got to crunch the data into a consumable form for 
the visual part of it. That would be the second part. And it's that crunching that oftentimes can leave me basically go into the coffee shop for an hour as my node script kind of crunches through a terabyte of data to grind out you know, the numbers that I need to do a lot of CPU intensive work. And that's exactly where this multi-threaded stuff is gonna shine for me. So I'm super excited about it. This is a game changer for me. And I hope it's a game changer for you. Uh, I would just try it out, honestly. You don't have to follow what I've done in this code. You know, try it out on your own systems just to see, just to watch your CPUs go up and be like, oh, that's cool. All right, guys, uh, I would love any comments you have about how you use it and any comments or subscribes are always great. And of course, just be good to each other.